Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The world is watching Tennessee. The world is watching Tennessee. Because what is happening here today is a farce of democracy. What is happening here today is a situation in which the jury has already publicly announced the verdict. Just yesterday, the House Speaker took to national news to condemn us and call for expulsion before any evidence was presented, before any trial happened. And so what we see today is just a spectacle. What we see today is a lynch mob assembled to not lynch me, but our democratic process. But it will not stand because no lie can live forever. Rowdy Nation TV, welcome back to the channel. Do me a favor, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so anytime I drop a video, you guys can be notified. All right, let's get right to it. We got three Tennessee Democrat legislators who were targeted for expulsion by the state legislator, by the Republican majority, um, because of the shooting that happened last week. Now, you guys remember that shooting that happened in, um, in Nashville, Tennessee, right? That's where this story is coming from right now. This story comes this story comes from Nashville, Tennessee. And there's a trio of state representatives um, who were who were targeted for expulsion only for the simple fact that they protested gun violence. Now we have Justin Jones, Gloria Johnson, and Justin Pearson. Now, like about I don't know, I think about three or four days ago, um, there was a protest of some people, just ev everyday citizens, ordinary people who were protesting, you know, what happened at that school where the six people, the three nine-year-olds got killed. Yeah, that's what they were protesting. They weren't protesting like, let me open up a strip club. You know what I'm saying? They were protesting gun violence where six people were murdered. Okay? So, now, I don't really want to get too far into it. As you can see, I'm kind of hyped up, but... Let's get back to it, and let's see what Justin, Justin Jones has to say. I just want to know that this is only the third expulsion since the Civil War in the Tennessee House of Representatives. The last expulsion was for sexual harassment, 22 counts in 2016, Representative Jeremy Durham. The, the expulsion before that in 1980 was for a recording of a lawmaker taking a $1,000 bribe for his vote. And so they're saying that our actions of First Amendment activity, of standing with our constituents, demanding common sense gun control, is equal and equivalent to those crimes and unethical behavior. That's what they're saying. I mean, it's morally insane that a week after a mass shooting took six precious lives in my community, Community here in Nashville. My colleagues on the other side of the aisle, their first action is not to take actions to rein in this proliferation of weapons of war in our streets, but it's to expel their colleagues for standing with our constituents. And so this is not just about losing my job, it's about silencing the voices of over 70,000 people in my district. Altogether, the three of us represent over 200,000 people whose voices are being taken in silence. So they expelled this young brother for um, standing up against gun violence. I had... I had to go back and um, that clip we just watched, right, that I just put up there, I had to go back and listen to that again. Like he said, this is only the third time that somebody's been expelled in uh, the Tennessee legislature, in, uh, in Tennessee, right? So the first time he said was back in when? When was that? Y'all heard it, right? Back in 19, whatever year that was. It was for 22 counts of sexual assault, right? Then the other guy took a $1,000 bribe, and they're comparing him and um, his other two constituents protesting gun violence for the six people who lost their lives. Three of them happened to be nine-year-old kids. Where are we at in this country? Y'all tell me, I'm not even going to talk about gun rights and about if you should own a gun or not. That's your, not, we're not talking about that. I'm talking about that, uh, and God bless Gloria Johnson for standing with these two young brothers. And, and, to, and I want to get off sidetrack, but, you know, there's a lot of young people, man. I applaud Justin Pearson, and I, I applaud Justin uh, uh, Jones and Gloria Johnson for standing with them against gun violence. Do you know how hard it is to go up against the, um, the NRA? 
the Republicans, man, they're not going to go. Man, I heard somebody say, if you try to take these people's guns, and they're not even trying to take the people's guns. They're trying to say that you shouldn't have these high-capacity guns, high-capacity weapons and high-capacity magazines where you can shoot, like, I mean, like 100 rounds. That's that's for the battlefield, bro. I mean, and that's what the streets have become, a battlefield. And it's like now everybody got one, so everybody now everybody else wants one. Well, he got one, so I need one. Everybody's trying to be um, out, out, outgunned the, the next person. Everybody's paranoid that this person has a gun, that person... Ha and then I heard somebody say, well, if everybody has guns, then maybe the crime might go down. I don't know. Leave a comment in my comment section. Tell me what you think. If everybody... If, just say everybody has, has a gun. Just think, if you went outside right now and just think, everybody packing, do you think crime would go down or do you think crime would go up? I never really thought about it. Leave a comment in my comment section. I mean, that's something to discuss, you know? But like I said before, these two young brothers, they're only 27 years old, Justin Pearson and Justin Johnson. I, I don't know how old Gloria Johnson is, but I applaud her, right? But to sum it all up, all three of these, uh, I mean... The two brothers, Justin Johnson and Justin Pearson, they got expelled. Gloria Johnson didn't. But when the question was asked to Gloria Johnson, why do you think you didn't get expelled and those two got expelled? She said out of her mouth, well, I did the same thing they did. The only difference is our color. So I'm going to leave it right there. You see what I'm saying? And what, and what they're protesting is gun violence. This is not no racial thing. I don't think it is. Now, that there's something underneath this that I don't know about. You know what I'm saying? Why you want to keep AR-15 uh, uh, weapons on the streets? I don't know, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think, man. I'm not here to argue a bill right about to have a gun or not have a gun. I'm not. That's not me. To I'm not here to debate that. I'm here to debate this man... These two brothers losing their jobs. When have you seen, man, I applaud them. I applaud those brothers, man. 27 years old, I don't see some, you should see some of the 27-year-old brothers I be seeing around here. Pants sagging, hanging. They, that's, that's what they want out of our community. As long as they see us in, in a condition like that, they ain't got nothing to say. They cool. But when you get a young brother that, that this is the new generation of uh, activists, and you know they don't look like them. These are and these new young brothers. They don't care what these people think. You know they 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 open minded. They express they you know they it's a new way of thinking. That old way is gone. That 1963 that make America great. That's gone, people. You see what I'm saying? Though man, that's gone. Get that out your head. It's never coming back. So what we need to do is learn how to live together. That's what we need to do. But I'm not here to preach, man. I'm just saying, man. God rest those uh, those people's souls. I made a video. If you didn't see it, I made a video about the people um, about the the school the, the school shooting in, in Nashville, Tennessee, that happened about last week. I made a video about it. Go check that out. And that's what these people were protesting. You see the people up in the gallows in there? That's what they had signs. They wouldn't tear anything up. And then one of the constituents, one of those Republicans had the nerve to say he compared it to January 6th. Man, are we, li are we living in the upside down? Are we living in the upside down? Those people, all they did was chant it. They used their right to protest. Now, he did it on the floor. It was wrong. He shouldn't. He apologized for it. But he said he felt that those young people that came to protest peacefully needed to be heard. And he lost his job for it. I don't know. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think, people. Uh, this is, I don't know, man. I know some of you people might not like this content. I hope you do. But this is the stuff that really means something. Instead of all that foo-foo that be on the internet. This is stuff that really means something, people. I think they want us to stay in the in, in, in the upside down. And that this is what really, really, really matters. This man lost his job. Those two brothers lost their job talking about gun, uh, gun violence and uh, how we can stop 
uh, these mass shooters, stop weaponizing these mass shooters so they can be the most sophisticated um, mass shooters in history. Man, I, yeah, but like I said before, I, I, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so anytime I drop a video, you guys can be notified. I'm out.